On today's video, we're going to be adapting this fuel well onto its Trailboys ASS style LS intake into a AN fitting. Now, a two different ways that I know of you can do this, and I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, one way I'm going to have to explain because it requires you to cut this right here, as you will soon see. And the other way is simple using just this style fitting right here. This is the way I prefer because you don't have to cut your stock fuel line. And it's simpler. It uses an O-wing too. The other one uses a compression fitting. But I'll show you both ways. Let's jump into the video. So you should be able to see this pretty good. Here's two style fittings. Now, depending on your fuel well feed line or fuel well return line, if your fuel well has one, will depend on the size of AN fitting you need. Now, I'm gonna show you the compression one first and explain how you use it right here. I won't be using this style today, but if you have a fuel well and you prefer the compression fittings, then yeah, this is a way you can do it. Now we are dealing with the inlet for the fuel. This is 3 8 If it had a return, it's usually 5 16 But these little fittings here has a compression washer. And you would take a hacksaw or a little bit of a, a brake cutter or a tube cutter or something and cut this. And then you would slide your compression fitting on. You would put this on and then your compression fitting goes over the line. Then you would tighten up just like so and it would press down onto the line you cut. You just got to make sure what size line you have, if it's 3 8 get a 3 8 AN compression fitting. If it's 5 16 get a 5 16 AN compression fitting. The way I like to do it, and the way I'm going to be personally doing my intake, is with this style of fitting. This is kind of an adapter for the fuel line. It comes in two parts. Comes apart just like so. And it has a o-wing on the inside if you can see now these come in at different prices uh the compression fittings are a tad bit higher but just buy like a dollar or two and these are you know around you can get two of them for about 14 15 bucks uh two of these about 14 15 bucks so they ain't too expensive so you don't need no expensive oil for this you don't even have to use oil but i recommend using some oil just take your a little bit on your finger and put around this fuel line right here and you want to do that because this has got an O-wing inside this fitting and you can damage that O-wing if it goes on and catches anything. So now that everything is lubed up, let's go ahead and take a fitting and center it up and press it on and make sure the O-wing seats. Okay, it felt like it went on nice and good. Now it's all the way back against where the fitting had that little nipple. I called it a nipple. Uh, tang or whatever you want to call it so we put this part on here and then you want to snug it up just run it up now that's tight has an o-wing on it you want to tighten this down just a little bit uh, 11 16 and 5 8 they do make special wrenches for this but if you nick it or anything you can just put a little black fingernail polish on it Go ahead and tighten this up. And you don't have to over tighten this because this does have O-wings in it and it's meant to twist and move just a little. And if you over tighten it, you can bust the aluminum fitting. Also, if you're worried about scratching this up, you can put some tape around it. I just touch it up with black fingernail polish. But as you can see, I didn't do no damage to it. And the good thing about these fittings, you can take them off the same way you put them on. Let me show you. So if you take it back off, you just loosen it. And it has an O-wing on it. And you can pull it loose. And you can see an O-wing down inside. And you can reattach it. It makes this easy to just assemble and disassemble. Also, when tighten this, make sure you don't have no wobble or nothing up on this. This actually butts up kind of against this. So you don't want that fuel line we're going we should be good to go I'll 
fuel line should stay to uh, we need to remove it now if you don't like the idea of this style fuel line up on this then you can personally uh, change it to a compression style fitting and that will compress up against this and actually make this a lot stronger than that but this should be all you need you should never have to take this back loose unless you want to it's just that simple to adapt your fuel wells into AN fittings. You can get these in different sizes. 5 16 and 3 8 is usually the most common fuel well sizes I think. 5 16 is usually uh, returns. 3 8 is usually feed, but they do come in different sizes depending on car make and model. Now, I prefer this style. As you see, it's easy to take off and put back on, and it uses O-wings, but you can get the compression style I just showed you in the first uh, part of the video and just cut that and just install that and you know you got a compression fit and it's tight no o-wings it should never leak and if you ever want to undo it you can just uh undo the a in line that's going into it you don't have to take it ever again off your fuel well but if you want to just a quick disconnect or something easy you know this and makes that happen now they do make different quality a in fittings these is more of the budget quality ones these are not the cheapest ones you can get a more of the mid-grade ones you would find online but it should be just fine and I thought I seen a crack in my fuel well I don't Whew. I've been sad fuel wells is expensive you would see me do an AN crossover with compression fittings but I don't know this video turned out great We've got throttle body video coming up soon plenty of content if you're into LS swaps and if you modify the intake yourself so check my channel out. If you're new, get subscribed. If you're a return subscriber, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.